I think if you've been in our business for a while, we tie our anchors to things that just seem to be there and are always going to be there. So when NIST comes out and says things like, you shall not have composition rules imposed. So no capital letter, number, special character. Those are things I feel like they're so standard for us too. There's going to be like this cultural thing that we're right. going to have to untangle. I even think back to our rollout at Dr. First. And at the time, Verizon was one of the credentialing service providers and for someone who wasn't affiliated with an institution that had a credentialing office, they were doing, in effect, a retail form of, of identity proofing. They would like mail a letter to their registered address in the, the physician, the MPI director. Right. And then IDME came to the scene. There ended up being some issues with that. And so the industry has been trying to find those solutions. And to your point, we've had these sort of commonly accepted bedrock things that are changing. But there's been so much investment for clinical people accessing clinical systems yeah. already. Let's find a way to bring that together. It's an area that I think is going to get even more important as clinical staff and physicians are accessing. Think about some of the data with DNA. Think about some of the issues with AI and some of the knowledge that was. So the depth of access is getting deeper. And so the need for a, a more frictionless but safe enough access is going to be pretty important.